Vengeance viewers, welcome back to the Vengeance or channel. I'm trying to be quiet because it's early morning here. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna go do some more rift bosses. I am already over here at the Run Guards Tower, and then I'm just gonna run down and do these three. So let's sprint our way right over here. didn't before. idea behind doing all these rift bosses. If you're a free to play player they're a good resource to have. I did video part one and I did the other half of the ones that I had to do. But I with the new newer really I was close enough to get hit by that. With the newer uh, content for the artifact on life stones rift bosses have a chance of dropping them. I don't know if it's every rift boss or if it's just the ones that correlate to the bosses that drop boss gear like Dim Tree and Red Nose. I haven't looked up the, the drop table. But it's new content and I figured that I would let myself be surprised. I want to do the rift bosses anyway just because like I said before, they are a good source of materials that you use. Next one's gonna be there. So even if you don't get a drop, I mean, you can get. Several things here. These uh, black stones are pretty valuable, and the ancient spirit is valuable, and the mem frags are always valuable. You can trade these for pretty good things. I usually trade them for the supreme cooking or alchemy tools. I don't need the boss auras or the collection scrolls. I don't grind that much. The only thing that I would use other than the cooking or alchemy on these would be. The advice of Vox for fail stacks. The magic crystals don't interest me. Or possibly the Crocodile Origin Stone, but for 40 of them for a stone, I think it's kind of a waste. Alright, which way is this guy? I always try to leave my horse in a spot that it's not going to get messed up. The horse is level 54 and does have pretty decent armor even though I haven't upgraded the armor. But I don't want to take any chances. Oh, I got flapped. And immediately flapped again. Oh, 
whittle this guy down quickly. The bosses have been on my list to kill for a while, so they're pretty cheap. Mana, since I don't have blue again. tree stuff that's good for the uh, pen the guaranteed pen uh, boss armor quest I have quite a few of them stacked up in storage I'm not gonna be doing that quest I don't think I think what I'll do is just I think what I'll do is there's the reform stones uh, the requirements on them so you gotta Go trade your Tet boss gear to the NPC, and then you get a version of it that you cannot trade on the market. And then you use these reform stones on it, and once you hit reform stone 5 and use it on there, then you can trade it for a pen. It'll be basically a pen piece of gear it's guaranteed it takes a lot more materials than if you were to just get lucky and upgrade it or just buy it straight off the market and you cannot trade it once you're done so if you're looking to keep an item that you could get your silver back out of later it's not a good investment plus these things take quite a while to farm and each stone requires more and more of the item so I've just been dumping them on an, on an old character for storage space. I'll save them up if I eventually get enough to do it. I'll just do it all at once. But for now, I'm keeping my tet armor. And whenever I feel like it, I will go ahead and try to pen it. I just haven't felt like doing that recently. I think I'm going to switch the Griffin's Helm over to... A Gioth for the HP versus the resistances plus five. I don't PvP, so the resistances don't mean much to me. I went ahead and made this Black Star uh, a few weeks ago and switched over to it from the Dandelion since PvE is my main focus. Come on, horse. Right, we're going up here. This guy's kind of a pain in the butt. He dies fast. No, I didn't mean to use that. He dies fast, but he does... If he hits you, he knocks you down pretty badly. here. 
and some more auras and another box, but I did not get an artifact. So that is three gone, and then we're gonna do this one here. It's red nose. I'm gonna run near it, I think. My horse can figure out which way to run. I'll let that auto run while I'm uh, looking at this stuff. So, but you gotta have these boss auras or crystals, and they correspond to whichever piece of boss gear that you're trying to upgrade. So I have dim trees, so I would need dim trees. But I still like doing the bosses just for the rest of this stuff. Uh, the ancient spirit dust I like to save up. I'm gonna see if I can't save just huge amounts of it. I mean, you get it from gathering, you get it from grinding, get it from the rift bosses. I mean, it's given away quite a bit, and you turn five of it plus black stone of each, or just one, either this one or that one, plus five of that in simple alchemy, you get kaffirs out of it. So it's pretty good. It's like a rainy day fund. We're gonna use this real quick. Get this off the screen because stuff flashing on my screen bothers me. Right, red nose should be yeah, right here. And that'll leave me three rift bosses. There's two down in the southeast corner and one down in or southwest corner and there's one down the um, southeast corner I'm not gonna do either one or either of those today because it's a pain to get down there and doing it on video it's a lot of running um, I don't go and do the one in the desert anyway So I can get the meteor off before he staggered me out of it there. This guy isn't too bad to kill either, but the only problem. Staggering, and then he goes invincible for a second there. See, stagger me right out of it. That's all I'm gonna do on those. I'm actually gonna run back to idle and then we'll open up the boxes. People like saving them, open them all up at once, but I don't have the inventory or storage space for that. So I will dump all these crystals and ours onto my ult. We'll open up those four boxes and I'll put the scrap in storage and I'll end it off. And we got a new event going on here that are these little petals. This uh, was entered. They took out the fishing event for the sixth anniversary. I call it a fishing event. It was basically sixth anniversary uh, love drop things where you could get a blue and a red. You combine them, you get a yellow. The yellows are five mil. Otherwise, the others are two mil. I saved up like 120 of those and I had some left over. So I just sold them all to the NPC. It was like 600 million worth of silver. It was pretty good for AFK fishing. You could get them from gathering and grinding and stuff too, but fishing, I found, was the most efficient. But now it got replaced with this. 
and I've been getting these petals from fishing. If I can go trade them in in Calcyon, you can get uh, fruit from it. I'll show you what I mean by fruit. These fruits. You can get these from them. You can dump all of these in there. Dump all of this junk in there. Okay, we'll open these boxes real quick and then I'll end it off. Uh, Cecile's necklace and five crowns. Not very good on that one. Boris Ronaros. Another Cecile's necklace. You know what? That's 22 million. Seven and a half million. Let's go for broke. Eleven percent chance, so I don't know what a good fail stack for this would be. Twenty. We got a thirty percent chance. Let's see if it goes up. It's probably gonna explode, but you know what? It's not worth that much anyway. Yep. Gone. So sometimes roof bosses are worth it, sometimes they aren't. Force runner us ring isn't worth much. We'll dump it in the warehouse. Dump the crowns in there. And now I'm going back to fishing. So, uh, if you made it this far, thanks for spending your time with me. What little time we all have, especially with the state of how things are. Uh, if you like the video, leave me a like or a comment. Uh, if you want more, hit subscribe. Uh, there's always going to be content coming, but if I end up moving, which we're attempting to, we could go without the internet for a little bit so content is going to be scarce uh, in the foreseeable future but it will come back so as always until next time